We're about to see our uh, sloth. It is sloth, isn't it? Sloth, yeah. yeah. It's really one of the strangest, I think, of all the animals that I've I ever seen. Was sloth. Well, I, th I think both per, uh, like cold pronunciations sloth. are acceptable. Is he likely to leap? No, he's, uh, he does everything very carefully and very slowly. I don't see him yet. There's not, uh, oh, the audience can he'll see come him. out in just a second here. Come on, Gozo. Takes you, I give him an instruction, instruction, and then it takes a little while before okay, he Look at that. I can't see him. You know, this is uh, something I discovered quite a while ago. That of all his foods that this sloth likes, he likes roses, usually to buy. I could sing, show me a rose again. <laughs> Just He'll to keep him happy. Here. Can you see him? You can't see him from I where I can't he's... see either of them. He'll climb up and get me. I'm not much interested in seeing him. Oh, isn't he good? Oh, oh he's a great Jesus. animal. Can you, would I dare pet him? Yeah, you can pet him, but I think I better put him on this broomstick. That's, yeah. He seems to. Is he happy or upside down? He wants to have something that he can hold on to. I know I am. Come on. <laughs> It's the lousiest looking dog I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, he's terrific. The, uh, they live their life completely upside down. Mm -hmm. Very seldom ever uh, turn around. You know a couple of guys like that. Can... <laughs> Used to be called a massage parlor. What? He's actually eating a rose, is it? Yeah, you uh, can see that. You know, it's I good know fun. a fellow who once said to me, I know a massage parlor where you can get a massage. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. A little hard for him. What does that have to do with the slow? No. Let's see if I can turn him around so the know, camera can see him a little better. Now, is he friendly they, to humans, and would he, will he attack them or bite them? Or any, this uh, kind is fairly friendly. There's another uh, three-toed slow that we were talking about. is mm -hmm. even more friendly. But they're so specialized. They're very, very strange, and they, their yes. survival is as the key to their survival is the fact they move so slow that very few things can see them. Uh -huh. And in the rainforest of South America, they actually grow a moss on their stomach. And uh, actually, that, that camouflage. And they hang but upside down most of their lives. All the time. So you can imagine. Uh, Do they have girlfriends like uh, animals? They have girlfriends, but there's, there's no danger of there being a population explosion. <laughs> they get around. <laughs> Pretty. Can there be Don't any kind to... of an explosion? <laughs> Never. No kind of explosion with a slow. They're That's so a slow. Pretty dull yeah. life they lead, and, hanging uh, on a broom. Even, <laughs> <laughs> even their, uh, Jeez, they're they're so specialized for this kind of living that the hair on their stomach is parted, goes yeah. to either side, where most animals, you know, it's either on the top of the head yeah. like Groucho no. or on the back. Well, I was operated, so. and I have hair here. <laughs> <laughs> Sloth but, uh, the other, the other nice thing about it. So it's I don't recommend. It's hard to conceal an operation. Yeah, huh. I, I guess that's true. Especially now, <laughs> unless you have a lot of hair. <laughs> Does a sloth ever have a runny nose? He's always upside down. I guess he probably doesn't have to well, this worry one, about that. This one likes bananas, and he sort of gets them all over him. But oh, uh, that's the name of Woody's picture. The, uh, huh. One of the, <laughs> one of the nice, uh, one of the nice things about having a sloth as a pet, although I don't recommend exotic pets too often, but these yeah. are great because you can put them in a, in a tree in your living room and they just, <laughs> they just hang around all day. <laughs> Didn't Truman Capote live in a tree at one time? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Well, we'll let I him answer that either question. Either that or uh, he wrote a book about living in a tree. It well, may have been Brooklyn. I, I'm sure he'll be glad to clear that up for us. Do you feel the hair on him, though? Because the, oh, uh, be oh yes. Yeah. Do you want to feel the slug? Yeah. Do you want me to feel him? Yeah. There's <laughs> a dame in the third row I prefer. <laughs> <laughs> if I have my choice. All right. You have an enormous Jeez, amount of wonderful. patience, don't you? Well, with, with a sloth, you, your patience is not tested too often, but... Uh, mm -hmm. No, but I've seen I had it with a, other animals. Yes, with other animals, definitely. You know, it's funny, I, I had a, with an eagle? I had a uh, sloth giving a talk once, and he came like this at me, grazed my face, and after the show, a lady came up and said, Mr. Fowler, I could just tell that your animal loves you. I yeah. said, Madam, that was a fast jab. <laughs> it really was. That's about how a sloth attacks you. But with Thank elephants you. and a few things like that, uh, you've really got to watch out and know a little bit about it. Yeah, so come yeah. back tonight and tell us a lot about elephants because I know you just did some, you lived with some elephants recently. Yeah, You've I, just been living with yeah, elephants. I just got divorced. <laughs> <laughs>
We'll be right back after this message from our local station.